Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So today is Wednesday, so that means it's a weigh-in update. So this weigh-in update is slightly different than what I've normally done. Um, I can't remember the last time I've done what I've done. Um, so let's talk about my weeks. So I haven't been on plan um, since the last time I uploaded a weigh-in update. I was all about let's have a fantastic week being mindful and all that jazz but I think I uploaded it and by uploaded I was in McDonald's drive through I was proper in holiday mode kind of thing and that's what it's been like and I've had a lovely time away making memories with the family been to Northumberland had a blast and um, we either went into Scotland to Eyemouth to feed some seals it's just been a glorious half term and thoroughly like I said thoroughly enjoyed it we've had lovely food, I've had a few drinks, it's just been delightful and holiday mode has not finished so I came back off holiday on Friday and we had our family coming over so we've, with, with the family coming over from Geneva which we've not seen since the pre-pandemic kind of thing, we had a family meal which was a gorgeous Italian, we went to the Rovers match and prior to that we had food out, then it was Halloween which was a lovely meal at the in-laws and then there was sweets and everything eaten and then yesterday I had like a big blowout kind of thing because I knew that today um, was the day where I got back to it. So I'm being completely honest, uh, my food and my food choices have been amazing but not the most healthiest, should I say. So with all that into consideration today, I knew that I wanted to go to group. That was never, a th I was never not going to group. I knew that I needed that accountability. I also knew that I didn't want to see what I weighed. I really didn't want to see any of the num. I didn't want to see the 13 number on the scales. I, want I didn't want to be 13 something. Now, I don't know whether I am 13 something. I don't know if I'm making this more than what it is. I think what it is, is I'm just protecting myself. I don't want to rip the band-aid off to see exactly how much I gained. And like I said, I could be sat here and in this book could just be a, could be a pound gain. I'm not naive and I know what I've eaten and, and all that jazz that I haven't. I'm not sitting here with a small gain. I'm sitting here with a big gain. So I didn't want to see it. So I blind weighed in. So I covered the scales, I, my consultant wrote it in my book, and that's it. So I didn't want to see it. And also as well, I know that this week coming isn't a week where I can go, right, back to basics, I'm going to be 100% on plan, let's be amazing. And if I was sat, if I could do that this week, then I'd probably be more open to find out how much I'd gained because I knew that I'd have a plan in place where I could proper chip away at that gain, shall I say. But I can't because Grace this week has got so many dance lessons. At the weekend, she's got massive dance competitions for the, well, for the next two weeks. We've got that full weekends at the dan uh, dance competitions. Max has got football training three times this week and he's got a football match. We're going to um, a fireworks display this week. So I know that I can't sit here and say I'm going to be 100% on plan because I physically can't do it. But what I can do is that when I can be on plan, I'm going to be on plan. Like today, I've been completely on plan. I've, um, yeah, I've not had anything which is not swimming wool friendly today. So I know that I'm in a really good mindset and I'm, I'm really positive about it. And I think a lot of that is because I know that I, I don't know exactly how much I weigh. Um, and I think if I knew how much I'd gained or how much I weighed, I just knew it would play with um, play with my mind and just, I just didn't want to say it. And that is in, if you would have done it completely different, then that's completely, I respect that. But for me, and this is my journey, that I just didn't want to see, just didn't want to see it. I didn't want to see what I gained. And like I said, it, it could be not the biggest gain I've ever gained, or it could be. We'll never know until next week. So next week is when I'll find out what the gain is. Um, but this week is just having been back to back to Slimming World, eating healthy, um, planning the times where I can't, where I know that there won't be any things countered on the days where 
I physically can't even think about food as such. So when I'm at the dance comps, yes, I'll bring something in, but you know, I might have a hot chocolate, I might have a, if they only do cappuccinos and I'll have a cappuccino kind of thing. Um, you know, it's, it's about making good positive choices, but not being too hard on myself. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where it is. And, um, so that's what I've done. I've had a blind way in. I'm trying to protect myself. I don't want to see what it is. I know what I'm like with numbers. Um, sometimes seeing the number on the scale just plays with my mind. So this is a way of just protecting myself and going, right, I've gone to group. I've, I've stood on the scales. I've done what I needed to do, but I'm just not ready to find out what it is. And next week, I'll rip the band-aid off and see what it is. But hopefully next week, I'll see a loss and even if it's like a whatever it be as long as it's a loss next week I'll be happy kind of thing and um, because I know that I've got a loss because I, I just know what I'm like that if I see the gain I'd be really annoyed and I'd just play with my mind just play awful games with me and I just don't want it I just don't want to see it so I didn't um so this week is about like I saying, making healthy choices where possible, trying to plan some meals in where I can. And, and let's be honest, I'm not going to be in what I ate last week, this week. So hopefully even just by that, um, I should see a, a loss next week. So I hope you've had a lovely week. If you've got children at home, I hope you've had a lovely half term. Um, I can't believe we are in November already. It's officially Christmas next month. Woohoo! Excited, you know what, how much I love Christmas. Um, I don't know whether I'm doing Vlogmas. I might do Vlogmas, um, but I don't know. We'll see. So there's a knock on the door, the children are home. So I hope you've had a lovely um, week ahead. I hope you have a lovely week ahead. As always, send a huge positive thought. See you soon. Bye!